So here we have Professor Kannan Modgalia with us. He's a senior faculty in the chemical engineering department of IIT Bombay. He's, a, he's an Iraq uh, and Mehdu, Mehru Mehta education technology chair professor. He's a visionary and the driving force behind the FOSI project and the spoken tutorial projects that are going on in IIT Bombay. Uh, sir, over to you. Thank you, Poyal. In order to save time, I already shared, the, shared my screen. You can see uh, the homepage of FOSI. As Poyal mentioned, um, I've been promoting uh, FOSI. Uh, um, FOSI stands for Free and Open Source Software for Education. Initially, we were doing, we were called uh, engineering education because the ministry said to have a focus. We did that very well. Then the ministry said, what about science? So we used to call ourselves science and engineering, although the logo was already created. So we didn't change the logo. Now the ministry said, what about all education? So we just call ourselves free and open source software for education. The objective of uh, FOSI is, uh, it, it, it is to promote open source software. Through that, using open source software train a uh, lot of people, especially our students and faculty members. And join hands with them and create even more uh, work together, right? Uh, this is something um, that would have been clear to you already. Uh, let me just give a brief overview of some of the things that we are doing and then I will spend a little more time on open form. So we promote Scilab in a big way, as you can see here, Python, eSIM. eSIM is electronic uh, circuit design and uh, simulation. Uh, Scilab is an alternative to MATLAB. Uh, then we have OSDAG for civil engineers, DWSIM for chemical process simulation, open form, you all know about. Open Model ECA is an amazing simulation environment, modeling environment, PLC, programmable logical controller. So it's a hardware that we designed and built and uh, uh, tested, used, and so on. Then Arduino is another uh, thing. We work with Arduino. Arduino is well known. But then we created a shield. And then uh, we created a uh, lot of experiments around it. In fact, uh, we are in the process of releasing five books that we wrote using, uh, uh, we wrote on Arduino. Then R is an alternative to SPSS, for example. QGIS is a, a GIS tool. Uh, Focal is free and open source creative art library. There we uh, promote Synfix Studio, which is a 2D animation. In fact, we are in the process of conducting a uh, animation hackathon. Three minute um, animations have to be created. It could be on uh, on a Panchatantra tale, or a Jataka tale, or unsung heroes. Maybe um, um, Payal can show. The link for that uh, when, during her talk. And then we have uh, our chemistry and science experiments here uh, in Seoul. So that gives a brief overview of uh, some of the things that we are doing. Uh, to give an uh, idea of um, you know, what is it uh, people can contribute, let me open uh, uh, Scilab, um, let me go to Scilab. And uh, we have something called um, Scilab Textbook Companion Project. This is a flagship project of uh, Scilab. In this, what we are doing is um, we take standard textbooks and uh, provide Scilab code for solved examples of standard textbooks. Uh, for example, let me shrink a little bit so that you can see this here. Okay. So just to give an idea of this, so let me say, uh, take mechanical engineering. In mechanical engineering, let me take fluid mechanics. 
So for 38 books, we have actually students across the country, for example. Here, this is uh, BIT Chennai, Sastra University, IIT Gohati. This is, uh, they haven't put uh, what uh, college they are from. This is QSAT, Cochin, then uh, Maharaja Agrasin Institute of Technology and so on. So you can see that these are the students from these colleges that have contributed. Okay. For example, if you say this is the fluid mechanics and thermodynamics or thermal machinery, if I click that, so it recognizes that that student. For example, this was contributed by Varun SS, uh, uh, Varun SS, uh, BTE, of course, he's from IIT Bombay, and uh, it was reviewed by a person by name Spandana, right? So I can actually download the Scilab code for all the salt examples. So let me download it. Okay. Okay, actually this is the code. What I will do is let me download the PDF file. Okay. There it is. So all the solved examples from this book are coded using Scilab. Okay. So for example, if you want to say three-dimensional flows in axial turbo machine, okay, here is the code. Now, how do I understand the code? Just open the book, open the book, and example 6.1 explains the problem, problem statement, and it has the Solution, but we have the Scilab code here. Now, if you solve it, you will get the answer, right? So, this book is, um, let me just see, Dixon and Hall, right? So, you have to open that book. Okay. Now, let me uh, tell you how you can use this also on the cloud. So, let me go to the next page. So we have this website called cloud.scilab.in. So let me take, uh, show a different example. It's uh, electrical engineering. Let me choose control systems. Let me say, I will choose automatic control systems by co. And then select chapter, frequency domain analysis. Select example, I'll choose body part. So this is, Example 9.15, chapter 9 in automatic control systems by Co and subdivision, sub uh, uh, category control systems and in electrical engineering. So here it is. Now, if I execute, I get the answer, right? And it says, what are the margins, for example, gain margin, face margin, and so on. Now, what will happen is, supposing I increase the gain to 5,000. So this part is editable. So I can ask the question to those of you who know controls, what will happen to the margins for this kind of system? It turns out the margin will come down here, as you can see here. From 14, it has come to 8. From 30, it came to 17. Margins have come down. And of course, um, that means anybody can say that what will happen, I can modify it, use it, and so on. Now, going back to... Uh, let's go back here. Remember the 634 books I had? Uh, we chose, uh, for example, uh, completed books are 634. So there are 1 lakh problems, solved problems, uh, for which Scilab code has been given. It's all given by students across the country. <clears throat> now let me take one more example. Let me go, to, go back to FASI. Uh, many more things are happening. Uh, you know, for example, we are in the process of creating a cloud version of XCOS. XCOS is equivalent to Simulink, for example, right? Now, let me take this example from uh, DWSIM. This is a chemical process uh, simulator. And um, so we have something called flow sheeting project. 
So once again, what happens is students across the country uh, have given solution to various flow sheets. You can see there are 253, 253 flow sheets. Okay, what does the flow sheet look like? So let's uh, look at this. Well, actually, let me show you another uh, way to do that. DWSIM, I can open on the, here is the software I'm opening. DWSIM is a chemical process simulation, right? Okay, so uh, let's, while we are waiting for it, let's see the books, uh, where these students are from. This person is from Francis, from Ecuador. And then Gilda is from Ecuador. Uh, Chandini is from Varangal. Venganathan is from Tanjavur, and so on. So this is Valla Vidyanagar, Meet Dave, uh, Mehul Kumar Sutaria from Surat. In fact, Mehul Kumar Sutaria did extremely well. Uh, he worked with us, and uh, now he landed a very good job in a multinational, and uh, he's doing extremely well. Right? This person is from Rio de Janeiro, um, and so on. Right? In uh, Brazil, right? <clears throat> so, uh, not sure why uh, DWC hasn't opened. I just wanted to show you what uh, a flow sheet would look like. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, it turns out that uh, you can open a flow sheet and so on, but what I will do is uh, let me open it because uh, this DWC creator is a good friend of ours. So he has created all the flow sheets, for example. So the one I was trying to do was Kalina cycle. Open flow sheet, S. Okay, here is the brief summary of it. But here is the, okay. So which means that this is the flow sheet. So you have a column, you have a heater, you have a compressor, you have a, you take it to a drum, right, and so on. So it uh, what it does is explained in this abstract. What's there? There it is. Okay. Background, flow sheet description. This flow sheet is given, results, and here is the reference. So it came in um, energy analysis of a Kalina cycle with double turbine and reheating, came in materials today and 2021. So, uh, so it is possible to do all of these. Uh, we welcome people to join hands to do that. There is only one thing that I want to do briefly. Let's go back to FOSI. Let me open open form. And you have lots of things. In fact, we have a nice thing called uh, case study project. You can see here, completed case studies. So 133 case studies have been given by people like you, by participants like you. And uh, you, know, you can download, you can uh, solve it, um, you can modify it, uh, and so on and so forth. Let me open testimonials here. I clicked here. Uh, so there are some interesting testimonials of people who had, um, you know, worked with us, who um, were student contributors, who were um, full-time employees. For example, Divyesh, you, um, you were listening to. His testimonial is here. Um, we have another uh, person who did who is also doing extremely well, Ashley. Excuse me, Ashley is his name, his testimonial is here, and so on. So I would encourage you to go and see uh, how people are doing. We are constantly on the lookout for uh, you know, good people who will join hands with us to uh, create spoken tutorials, to, to work with colleges and work for some time and then move on, either to do higher studies. For example, Ashley is doing uh, a PhD here whereas Divyesh has gone to industry. So either one is okay, because uh, you go to industry now, 
uh, instead you might say that I'm, I want to come after BTEC. Uh, by the way, there are some uh, uh, there are some um, benefits in joining for MTech or PhD as a staff member. Um, uh, you need slightly uh, you can get in with a slightly less mark. For example, I mean uh, you still have to do well. It'll still be 90s uh, your gate score, but then it can be less than uh, the regular students. And um, the project uh, will sponsor, and these students, uh, in fact, end up spending, end up doing better than uh, students who join through a regular, uh, you know, two-year MTech students. Compared to two-year MTech students, stu those who are sponsored by FASI get their MTech degree, seem to do better. Um, they spend one more year, uh, but then their experience is counted almost as three years. So they, uh, because all three years they continue to work and even before getting sponsored, they work for some time. So all this is counted. So, which is extremely good because you push your horizons, you learn a lot more um, by doing hands-on uh, and being a good uh, Samaritan, a good citizen, helping the colleges, helping your alma mater and helping students like you to do better. And then with the option of going to industry, but you can also go for higher studies here. And, uh, you know, uh, because in these days, in an area like, uh, uh, you know, open form, computational free dynamics, I assume you know that um, the story of uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam, uh, who was denied, um, you know, is uh, Agni missile being, you know, tested in uh, Berlin. Uh, his team had gone because they said, come over, we'll test it and give it to you. They refused in the last minute. But uh, Dr. Kalam didn't give up. He found out that CFT could work. And he also found that Dr. Deshpande at IAC could make the code run 10 times faster so that supercomputers were, need not be, were not required. Uh, which is important because at the time, uh, even supercomputers were denied to us. And uh, Dr. Kalam could uh, have his uh, uh, missile tested, launched it. He became known as the missile man. Later on, he became the president of India. So CFD is extremely important. It's a high tech. It's a cutting edge of uh, uh, cutting edge work, research work can be done in CFD. And if you want to do CFD, open form is a uh, great tool. So you come to IIT, you come to FOSI, you work with us, uh, you work with us as an intern. In fact, if you see here, uh, I was showing you one of the testimonials, the very first testimonial that I uh, uh, think is there, um, Manu Prithvi Raj, he actually joined us. He says that he joined, he conducted a, he joined a workshop first, a workshop like this. Then he joined as a semester long intern. Then he joined as a full-time employee and so on and so forth. So uh, it is, uh, uh, it's a great opportunity for all of you. I welcome all of you to um, make use of whatever you, are, you have learned. And the spoken tutorials are extremely useful. You can learn by yourself. Once you learn the basics, then internet has everything. You can do it yourself, right? Uh, you will have the confidence. You will get the confidence if you do spoken tutorials. If you do side-by-side -side learning and you practice, you do them all well, then you will have confidence that you are capable of solving such problems. Then sky is the limit because internet has everything, right? So that's what I want to say. Um, our project is funded by uh, the Ministry of Education, Government of India, FOSI, and uh, as I mentioned already, the main emphasis is to uh, to promote uh, promote IT training, promote uh, the skill levels of students and faculty members in colleges across the country, and in fact, train them to the level they can contribute. <clears throat> give a platform for their capability through FOSI. Because you saw all the links, right? Many students who contributed to us use this information for higher studies. People have got, you know, scholarships, 
people have got internship opportunities in good companies there was a student from nit trichy um he got uh, an internship in uh, japan for example there was a student of uh, another student who got um, uh, you know uh, admission to um i think university of pennsylvania there was another student who got admission to uh, rutgers in new jersey and so on and so forth so uh, you know make use of it enhance your knowledge uh, and then contribute give it back to the society and so on so it's a it's an exciting uh, area and if you use open source software uh, you know there is no piracy you are using legally it's a licensed software and uh, you are using it legally and free of cost and tomorrow if you become an entrepreneur once again you know you can use it if you are a faculty member and you are going to do a consultancy project you may not be able to do it with academic license of fluent for example but you can use open for and not only that supposing you uh, help a small company and that small company if it wants to run that simulation and if you had used fluent now they may not be able to afford it whereas if you use open form they can use it <clears throat> so we have so many uh, companies in uh, you know mechanical engineering companies in uh, for example in coimbatore in ludhiana and places like that and you can imagine how beneficial it will be that they can also learn they can also simulate and you know and so on so with that i'm going to conclude my uh, uh, brief presentation uh, if there are any quick questions i'll be happy to answer thank you